So I have excellent news, beautiful people. Kelly Price is okay. It is official. You're going to hear it come directly from her mouth, which is the only way I will accept it. I know we heard the attorney said this and that. She's going to go over all of that a little bit. Apparently her and her sister are estranged and they haven't seen each other in a year. The sister that was saying that she was trying really hard to reach her. So I don't know what's up with all that family stuff. I have no desire to figure it out. I won't be following the chaos that has stemmed from this. My only concern was, where is Kelly Price? Now, straight from her own mouth, we can see her face and look in her eyes, and I know she's okay. So I just wanted to update my last update <laughs> and uh, spread that word. So make sure you guys hit the like and share and get the updated word straight out from Kelly's mouth. This is from TMZ, the interview she did with them, and... Um, Looks like she's going through a lot, to be honest, and she really just wants her peace. And I can understand and respect that 150%. So this is my final Kelly Price update. God bless you, Kelly. Take care of yourself. some point, uh, they lost me. Um, I woke up some days later, a couple of days later. And the first thing I remember is the team of doctors standing around me and asking me if I knew what year it was. Wait, when you say they lost you, can you clarify what that means? Yeah, I, I, I died. I died. Um, and the next thing, I, it, it was some days later. I remember, uh, I remember waking up in ICU and the doctor asking me if I remember what year it was. I'm sorry, not what day, if I knew what year it was. Going into the hospital, I'd actually had COVID for over a week, but my conditions were progressing um, in the wrong direction from home. And um, we're, we're jumping all the way in. So uh, I had it. Um, my husband did not have it. He was taking care of me at home, um, speaking with my primary care physician, giving me breathing treatments, um, giving me my medicine every four hours. He was in constant communication with her. And uh, eventually he ended up testing positive um, within a week after I got it and just prior to me going into the hospital. Um, she could see, she was seeing me every day on FaceTime and walking him through administering meds. And um, when it got to a point, my temperature had raised right to about 103 and my breathing was extremely shallow. And so um, he called the ambulance. And so I had to go to the hospital. So I was discharged. The hospital needed beds. I was able to go home and <clears throat> go home with oxygen. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> and go home with oxygen and have home health aides come check on me throughout the week, which is what happened for a period of four weeks after being released from the hospital. So people were definitely seeing me. The people that could actually say something are not allowed to because of HIPAA law. But I was being seen several times a week by home health aides after being released um, on oxygen. And I, I actually just got my first clean COVID test probably exactly a week ago. So I have what is called long COVID. Um, and I am facing a very uphill battle um, right now. So I'm going to cry. I have a lot of rehabbing to do. Um, I suffered a lot of internal damage. And so I have a lot of rehabbing to do before I am able to be what I like to call concert ready again. And um, following the year I've had losing so many people, um, I had just lost my grandmother before I was diagnosed. And um,
I just need, I feel like the only way I can focus on me is to actually focus on me. There were people, I don't know how, fans or whoever they were coming to my house, people ringing the bell, leaving things at my doorstep, disturbing my neighbors all times of the day and night. I've had that happen. It got to the point, and this wasn't months ago. I literally just left my, left my house maybe a week ago because I couldn't rest there. My doorbell was being rung all hours of the day and night. Um, I turned off everything. I wasn't on social media. It hasn't been two months since I've seen my sister. It's been a year. I haven't been in the same room with her since my mother's funeral. Prior to that, we hadn't seen each other all pandemic long. That's not new for us. It's not new for us. We've been strained for a very long time. I was never missing. I was never missing. I was in my home. I was being seen by doctors. First and foremost, with two people in the house with COVID, we both had COVID. Um, there was no visiting. There was no visiting the house. We both had active COVID cases. Everyone in my family knew exactly where I was. And I have to say that it's really disappointing that things came to this, but it was not true. And even when it comes to my daughter, I, I feel like she was easily manipulated. She's, people are saying she's a kid. She's not a kid. She's 27 years old. She's my youngest. But in that situation, she was easily manipulated. And to, to, to go along with that, um, she's my baby. And I have never been in danger. I am not in danger right now. I am focusing on putting myself first. Work in progress because she actually has to have an in-person interview with a police agency for them to personally look at her and, and accept that she's okay. So we made arrangements to do that and that'll take place in the next few days. Once that happens, then she'll come off of the National Registry. Well, I want Kelly to focus on getting through this part of it because of the emotional aspects that she's dealing with, not only from the illness and the residual impact of the illness, but just from the sense of betrayal she's dealing with from her family. I'll deal with the rest of it. There are some conversations that we are going to be having with respect to the fact that this was a false report of a crime. Just want to say thank you to everybody who was concerned. I want to say thank you for your prayers, for every vigil, for every person. Um, this is a horrible situation. I would, I would never misuse the justice system to push a personal vendetta or agenda that I had with anybody.